Apex Pro Gone Bad, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your own Twitter background. So, before I get started, I need to let you guys know that Twitter isn't like any normal website like YouTube and MySpace when it comes to its backgrounds. For some reason, Twitter doesn't center its backgrounds like YouTube or MySpace. It just sets it at its default setting and goes from left to right. To give you guys a better idea, I prepared this image right here and this is what Twitter does it just sets it at its default setting so it goes from left to right and it just starts out at the left area and this is what YouTube and MySpace do they center the image which makes it a lot easier because usually the main part of the background is in the center and then you just add the stuff on the side but since Twitter isn't like that it's like this it makes it a lot harder to make a really cool and nice Twitter background so that being said, let's head into Adobe Photoshop and I'm going to teach you guys some tips and tricks on making a Twitter background. Before you get started, I want you guys to pause this video and go ahead and click the more info link in the video description slash sidebar and download this Twitter template. Um, it's going to be a PSD file, so just download it and then open it in whatever version of Photoshop that you have. So here's the Twitter template. And I'm going to get rid of this Twitter box right here and this writing over here because I'm going to explain to you guys what that means. Here's a template and this is the top part of Twitter. I have the ruler set right here. This is the top part of Twitter and this side right here is the 200 pixel limit which you guys are allowed to put your image in. You can put an image anywhere you want but to keep it looking nice you have to put it in this 200 pixel limit. The reason being is because different computers have different screen sizes, different resolutions, and different settings that make the image look smaller or bigger. So on one on a computer, it might look bigger than it does on another computer, which is a big problem. And since Twitter doesn't center the background, it only gives you that 200 pixels to work with. So I'm going to get started, and I'm going to make my own Twitter background. It's going to be very simple. And you guys can make your own whatever you want. Just make sure to put it right there in the 200 pixel diameter right here. So I'm going to get started by double clicking the background layer and just changing it to normal black. I'm just going to take off the gradient overlay on it and press OK. So it's a solid black color now. Next up, I'm going to open my icon or logo for OctoGeek.com, which is my website, by the way. And set that right there and then take the text tool and type in octogeek.com for those of you wondering this is the champagne and limousines font um, I'll probably give you a link in the video description to just download the font if you want uh, let's see 12 font looks good and I'm gonna press control T to do the free transform tool and I'm gonna grab it from its corner and just make it like this just transform it to look like that so it goes up and down press ok and then bring it right over here just even that out a bit alright and bring it right over to that side and one last thing I'm gonna do you guys probably have seen this on a lot of Twitter backgrounds so it's just a very um, simple and easy thing to do on Twitter and it adds a really good effect so I'm gonna make a new document and make the width and the height 500 pixels and press OK. We're, by the way, this is going to add a straw burst effect or star burst effect. Can't pronounce that right. And I'm going to make my foreground and background co colors black and white and select the gradient tool right here. And then I'm going to start from the bottom, hold shift so it's a straight line and go to the top and then let go. And it should make a gradient that looks like that. Next up, what you want to do is go to filter, go to distort, and go to wave. And then press the square option and press OK. And it should look like that. Do it again. Filter, distort, and then go to polar coordinations. And then the default option should be rectangular to polar. And just press OK. And there you go. There's a starburst effect. And you want to just select it and drag it over to your Twitter template. Now I'm going to put this below my text and logo and then bring it up here and decrease the opacity to 50 percent. Actually it's more like 75, no, yeah let's just do 50. And there you go, a very simple Twitter background. 
has the Strawburst Effect, OctoGeek.com, so people know where my website is, and the OctoGeek logo, which is, of course, Octopus. And, yeah, that is it for this tutorial. Be creative. Make your own Twitter background the way you want it. Just make sure to keep it in this 200 pixel diameter, or else it's going to look, um, it's going to get chopped off, because in this 200 pixel diameter, that's the limit it goes on computers with a very low resolution. Low resolution makes it look bigger, and if you pass this 200 pixel diameter, it's going to go under the Twitter background, and it's going to get chopped off. It's going to go under the actual main Twitter area, and it's going to get chopped off. So that's why you want to keep it in the 200 pixel diameter. And that is it for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Remember, all the links for everything is going to be in the video description slash sidebar. So go there for all the links. And yeah, that is it. So until next time, I'll see you guys later.